Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain you how to add a rational numbers when denominators are not same. So there were two scenarios when denominators are same and when they are not. When they are same, it's very simple. You have to just keep the denominator same and add the numerator. But here, if you will see, we have I have taken three examples and uh, denominators are not same. So what shall we do? How to add them? So the first step is we have to make the denominator same and once they are same we can add the numerators. It's very simple, right? So but how to make the denominator same? So we're going to use LCM here. We're going to find the LCM of the denominators and we're going to find out the equivalent rational number where the denominator is equal to LCM. So let's do the first question and we're going to explain the first one and you can apply the same thing in the second and third question. So first one we have. 3 by 4 and 5 by 8 minus 5 by 8. So I'm going to put this minus 5 in the brackets to avoid the confusion. So minus 5 by 8, right? Now, like I said before, I'm going to find out the LCM of 4 and 8 here. I hope you all know how to find out the LCM. So I'll just do it quickly here. 4 and 8. We know they both goes in 2 table, right? So 2 2 is a 4 and then 2 4 is a 8. Again, we'll take 2. So 2 1 is a 2 and then 2 2 is a 4. And then 2 1s are 2. So we got here 3 2s, multiply them. 2 2s are 4, 4 2s are 8. So LCM of 4 and 8 is 8. Now I have to make both the denominators 8. For second number, the LCM, like we already have a 8 in the denominator, which is equal to the LCM. So we don't have to do any changes for the second number. For the first number, I have to change the denominator equal to 8. So I want to find out the equivalent rational number of 3 by 4 where the denominator is 8. Right? So you have learned in this chapter how to find out the equivalent rational numbers maybe in your 7th class or 6th class or like in lower classes you might have learned this. So how to do this one? In case you don't know I am going to explain you. We have 3 by 4 so I have to multiply. So normally what happens equivalent rational number you can obtain either by multiplying or by dividing. So if I divide 4 by any number I will not get 8. So obviously I have to multiply here. So with what number I should multiply 4 so that I will get 8 in the denominator. So we know that 4 2s are 8 right. So I am going to multiply 4 by 2 and the 2 you should multiply in the numerator too. Okay? So the same number you cannot just modify the denominator you have to do both the things like both in the numerator and in the denominator. So we will get here 2. So 3 2s are 6 and 4 2s are 8. So instead of taking 3 by 4, I'm going to take its equivalent rational number which is 6 by 8. I got 8, right? Now here second number already has an 8 here. So I'm going to add them. It's very simple now. So this will be, so in place of 3 by 4, I'll take 6 by 8. So 6 by 8 plus minus 5 by 8. Now we got into a situation where denominators are same. Right? Then how to add them? You have to just add the numerators keeping the denominator same. So here we have 8. So 8 will remain same in the denominator. I am going to just take it only once and I am going to add numbers in the numerator. So that will be 6 plus minus 5. So here we are adding our numbers or the integers with a different sign. 6 is positive, 5 is negative. When you are adding an integer of opposite sign, then you have to subtract them. So 6 minus 5 will be 1 will get here 1 and you have to put the sign of a number which is greater. 6 is greater, it's positive, I'll get plus here, plus 1. So 1 by 8 is the answer. That's it. So I hope it's easy, it's clear how to add the rational numbers. Now same thing, we will apply for the second and third question. Now if you know how to do it now, you can pause the video, you can check the answer and uh, if you still want, you can continue the video and just see how I'm solving the second question. So here I have 5 by minus 9 plus 7 by 3. Now we have a negative sign here, right? So this whole number is negative. If its negative sign is here or here, I'm going to just put this negative sign in the numerator. We can do that. Why we can do that? If I multiply minus 1, you remember I just explained you the equivalent rational number. If I multiply minus 1 in the numerator, denominator, I'll get minus 1 in the numerator. Okay, I'll just explain you this quickly how we're getting it. So minus, uh, okay, so 5 by minus 9, if I multiply with minus 1 in the denominator and in the numerator, I'll get 
minus 5 by 9 because minus into minus is plus. So 5 by minus 9 is same as minus 5 by 9. They are equivalent. So it doesn't matter where you put the sign. It's in the denominator or it's in the numerator. They both are equal. So I'm going to exclude this step which I just showed you. I'm going to directly write down the answer here. So this will be equal to minus 5 by 9. So the whole number is negative here. Plus 7 by 3. Now you can see denominators are not same. We're going to make it same by taking LCM of 9 and 3, which will be 9. Okay. Now for the first number, we already have a 9. So we don't have to change the first number. I'm going to change the second number here, which is 7 by 3. So 7 by 3, I want an equivalent rational number where the denominator is 9. So with 3, what I should multiply to get 9? So we know 3, 3 is a 9, right? So multiply 3 in the denominator and in the numerator. So 7, 3 is 21. So 21 by 9. Now we're going to add the numbers. So here we had the first number is minus 5 by 9. So in place of 7 by 3, I'm going to take 21 by 9. So 21 by 9. So you can see the denominators are same. We're going to keep the denominator same, add the numerators. So this will be equal to minus 5 plus 21. So you can see that they have a different sign. The integers have a different sign. So when they have a different sign, then you have to subtract them. So 21 minus 5, when you do it, you will get the answer 16. So 16 by 9. And you have to put the sign of a number which is greater. 21 is greater. It's a positive. So we'll get plus 16 by 9. We cannot cancel this further. So the answer will be 16 by 9. That's it. Now let's move to the third one here. So third one we have minus 3 plus 3 by 5. Now we know that like in the rational number chapter we have learned that every integer is a rational number. Like every whole number, natural numbers, integers we can write them as a uh, rational numbers. So minus 3 can be written in a rational number form by just keeping a 1 in the denominator. That's it because minus 3 by 1 is same as minus 3. Right? So I'm just writing this in the form of p by q. That's it. So denominators are not same. I'm going to make it same by taking the LCM of the denominator, which is 1 and 5, which is equal to 5. So for the second number, we already 5 in the denominator. We don't have to change it. For the first number, I want a 5 in the denominator. So you have learned how to do that. So I'll, I have minus 3 by 1. I want 5 in the denominator. So with 1, what I should multiply to get 5? It is 5, right? So multiply 5 in the numerator. So minus 3 into 5 is minus 15. So we'll get minus 15 by 5. Now let's add the number. So in place of minus 3 by 1, I'm going to take minus 15 by 5. So minus 15 by 5 plus the second number, which is 3 by 5. You can see the denominators are same. We're going to just add the numerator. So 5 will remain same in the denominator and the numerator. So minus 15 plus 3. The integers are of opposite sign. So we're going to subtract 15 minus 3. We're going to give us 12. So we'll get here. Okay, so we have 5 in the denominator and 12. And we have to put the sign of a number which is greater. Like here, 15 is greater its sign is negative so we'll get here minus 5, minus 12 by 5 that's it so i hope these questions are clear how to add a rational numbers when the denominators are not same you have to just do a one step extra that is take the lcm and make the denominator same like same as a lcm that's it i hope these questions are clear in case you have other question or doubt you can drop a comment i'll try to answer them thank you so much for watching